Welcome back, YouTube and Pure Structure Traders, for another weekly trading recap for you guys. Uh, today we'll be going over the trades that we've taken so far on S&P 500 for the smaller account challenge for you guys. Show you guys exactly where we're at in the account balance and also uh, some of the trades that we took being transparent with you guys. So again, if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys now there isn't a market analysis uh for you guys today for the london session because the market's going to be closed given that it's thanksgiving tomorrow but we're going to go ahead and do what we always do here go ahead and review the charts for you guys give you guys a little bit of a backdrop of what, what has been happening so far this week and um go over the trades for you guys so again if you guys do find these videos helpful um, or you want any more information anything you guys want to touch up on that will help you in your trading journey feel free to pop them in here on youtube again we can make some content on that as well for you guys go ahead and take a look at what we've been doing so far in the market this week so for s p 500 we started somewhere around this open for me is the 21st on sunday you can see we did jump as high as this area right over here resistance 47 40 75 we were up there and then we started to pull down all the way into support at 46 55 uh, nice area down below we got as low as 46 49 75 and you can see even in the u.s session today we did move down a little bit and then we started to round out and we pushed all the way back up kind of touching somewhere around these 4708s as of right now so we'll see if we get some resistance there if not you can see a top level coming right back into those 4730s um, on the high note so we'll see what happens there but let's move into some of the trades that we took so far we actually took quite a bit of trades this week um um, for the midweek we'll show you guys exactly what we looked at so we had a nice long opportunity here 4775 into about 470125 kind of a quicker one we had another long opportunity you can see holding a little bit of support off this little micro peak here so a good long opportunity 0775 uh, to about 0825 and then another one we had uh we well we did have a short idea here which is a little bit more risky we shorted 470575 i uh, got taken out 470725 and then we had another long here 0725 to about 09 should have kept the long idea as you can see micro support was holding this area even over here and uh, had the nice potential for an upside move from there so uh three winners and one loser there let's go ahead and take a look a little bit further as we move over in this chart so coming in on the 22nd for you guys couple long trades we had here that got stopped out 47 38 50 down uh stopped out 35 75 we have 47 35 25 stopped out uh, well yeah it stopped out 47 33 75 uh and then again uh 47 36 a little bit on a higher note here it got stopped out at 33 75 which is all right we had a short right after you could see that the market was not was no longer respecting the micro area of support here and then we shorted this idea here down 47 33 75 for two lots down into 47 31 uh for both the lots and then we had some longs here 47 29 50 uh into about 47 uh i believe 29 75 and then here 47 30 into about 47 31 25 so decent uh long trade opportunities nice short but we did get stopped out on the first three it happens part of trading you're not going to win them all nice little bit of a trade down here moving down short 47 20 50 down 47 20 25 i uh, didn't stay this in this one too long because this is more of uh an accidental trade trying to catch this move to the downside could have went a little bit further but it wasn't something i lined up so we got in and out of that trade moving over into the next couple of trades that we've taken uh for uh, this week we had another short idea 46 77 25 nice couple peaks here and right when we got the break looking for the short 46 76 75 nice short down uh, we had a long idea 46 63 25 into 46 64 25 so nice winning trade was holding a little bit of micro support here a couple touches uh, was looking for this to explode up a little bit higher quicker but you can see um, took our profits here came right back down and then you can see a nice uh, push right up from there. Um, a little bit of a fade area, you can see that happening there, but it wasn't too comfortable with trying to go short so low. Would have liked that pullback. You can see a nice pullback right here for a nice short idea, but I missed that trade as well. Uh, so moving over 
here just a little bit further you can see we've taken quite a bit of trade so far for this uh midweek which is good for us putting on a little bit more uh, as we slowly try to build this for you guys uh, moving over into some of the short ideas we had next here uh, we did have a short 46 57 75 we actually got stopped down on this one 60 25 popped up against us uh, but you could see we were underneath structure this was a nice short idea that we had we just got taken out on the first one then we had another one 5875 short into 5650 and then another short idea here 52 down into 50 50 so two two winning trades one losing trade as you can see short idea we were under structure looking for that continuation of the the bear move uh pulling over the chart a little bit more for you guys let me see some of these uh, trades. I believe we took a little bit more maybe on the 23rd or moving into the 24th. Pulling the chart here. <clears throat> okay. So first idea here for the short. A uh, little bit risky as you can see we're popping up. Um, wanted this area of resistance. We had resistance right here. Uh, wanted the, the short but took it a little bit early. 88, 46, 88. Had to get out of that pretty quickly. 46.87 was our take profit from there. So winning trade, but still a little bit risky as the price was coming up. Moving over into a couple more trades, trade ideas we had. We had a long 86.50. Uh, we got stopped out at 84. We had some shorts here. 84 uh, took profit at 82. And then 84.25 took profit at 83 as well. Uh, so those are two nice short trade opportunities that we had there. Moving over a little bit more for you guys. Pulling this here. I believe we had maybe one more trade here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where did we take this last trade on the 24th? Which is today, basically. <clears throat> okay, right here. So we did have a short idea here. You could see fell just a little bit underneath this area here. Wanted that short continuation. Um, so 46.74.50 got out at 46.73.50 for the short idea down and um, that price did not want to pull any further down than this so it took our profits you could see from there we didn't get a nice pull down deeper and this started to move up even further as we were going bullish already from this area so a um, couple yeah quite a bit of trades let's take a look here at some of well let's take a look at the trading journal for you guys so you guys can see where we're currently sitting here on the trading journal. <clears throat> so pulling this up for you guys. So you can see we took about 20 trades all together. Um, after we had one, two, three, four, five, six. Six losing trades, rest of them winning trades. Uh, total gross, you can see 325. After the commission cost, you can see we got it. 209.50 so we took a profit so far for the midweek 209.50 total number of trades we had 20 total number of winning trades 14 total number of losing trades six trade win rate so far 70 percent trade lose rate 30 percent nicely done average winning trade 72.32 average losing trade 114.58 largest winning trade 275 largest losing trade 137.50 so you can see starting balance this week $3,531.75 close position 209.50 so close profit that we have $209.50 so far for the midweek account balance sitting at $3,741.25 next one to scale up to three lots is going to be at about $6,000 when we push our account to that amount so we'll see if we can actually get there uh, but doing pretty well so far, pretty happy with our results, 70% uh, win rate so far. So patiently uh, and disciplining, well, patiently taking trades, disciplining ourselves in those trades as well. If we take losses, we allow those losses to get hit. We look for some other trade ideas from there. Um, again, it's all about discipline. It's all about making sure that you take your trades from your levels. It's all about not allowing yourself to get emotional as you trade but instead focusing on your method your strategy and what would get you or trigger you in right being able to separate the task from the action making you a better trader all around because it doesn't involve emotion so much when you decide to place that action on um, after you've pretty much put together a plan uh, how you're going to trade and your process so again you can see the results pretty good this week um, i'm liking it uh, we 
will be closed for tomorrow. So again, we'll be back again on Friday, see how the market moves on Friday, see if we can capture a little bit more uh, profitable trades towards the end of this week. But again, if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Any questions you guys got, feel free to pop that in here on YouTube. We'd love to get back to you guys. If you are struggling with trading, if you are struggling with some of uh, the questions that you would have along your journey, you can pop them in here on YouTube. Again, we can answer those for you. you become a Pure Structure trading member with us. We would love to help you guys out in your trading journey as well. But that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Appreciate you guys for always watching and tuning in with us. Um, again, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Today's my birthday, so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of my birthday. And again, to all of you guys, you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. And we will chat again uh, next week for you guys. You guys take care. Have a great night.